about 30 degrees out. It snowed last night. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the cold start on the SS. It has ED5 in it. It's actually Ignite Red from last time at the track still. So I'm going to go ahead and cold start it and show you guys. Your car on a factory computer with ED5 should start no problem in like 20, 30 degrees. So there's literally no reason why a car shouldn't start when it's on 85. It's about 40 degrees in my garage right now. But I'll go ahead and put some tables in from factory computers. If you have a 85 cold start issues or flex fuel cold start issues, it might be your injector data, your injectors if you have cheap injectors, or it could just be your tune. It might be a fuel pressure issue too, but normally it's not that. You usually have uh, driving issues too if you have fuel pressure issues. But I'll go ahead and Post some tables from factory flex fuel tunes and you can use these tables for almost any uh, gen 4 computer gen 3 the operating systems that can do flex fuel are a little different but you could still do 85 on any operating system and you can use like you know just look at the factory flex fuel computers and operating systems to see how they set them up see what the the ignitions like see what the feelings like see what the command air fuels are like you know just see all that stuff Compare that to your tune if you're having issues with uh, 85 hot starts, cold starts, anything. Don't reinvent the wheel here. Why are we going to make new tunes when these tunes exist from the factory? I feel like the GM engineers are probably smarter than most of us anyway. So, use what they have. The cars work from anywhere from sea level to over a mile above sea level factory tunes. So, might as well use their data to help your tune work better. Thanks for watching. So I just checked the weather. It's 34 degrees, but the feels like is 19 or 20. I'll go ahead and put that right in here too. But thanks for watching. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and like the video.